Iron John picture. And as an artist, I work in uh, materials currently uh, to create some of my responses to uh, news events and uh, tying it lately to my background and a lot of the work I began with in the art the world situation was the 70s pretty much so uh, minimalism and earthworks I went to New York City and was a part of that scene so I'm kind of bringing that back into the work I do now uh, combining that with a traditional portraiture which I've always done portraits of family people One day the door was open and I just walked right in. Uh, but I had wanted to come in and volunteer or somehow be part of the of what you all were up to here for years, because I lived just down the street. And uh, uh, and as far as you know, my my own mental health journey. I mean, I struggle with addiction and depression and. I think the depression especially lends itself to isolation and a lot of self-doubt and that sort of thing. And so um, with my art, I am able to communicate and to share myself with people in a way that is affirming to me and uh, and to other people because I think people want to identify themselves with art and with artists and with the creative process, even if they feel like they're not creating. I come from, I guess, in some ways, a family of artists. My sister was a great artist. Um, my family, um, you know, my grandfather was an artist and my grandfather, my other side is an artist, so it feels uh, close in that way. The family, I think that's how I got started. Well, the motivation is mainly me expressing my own mental struggles, my mental health struggles, um, with my anxiety, my imposter syndrome, and the relationship I have with my parental figures, and how it just kind of stopped me from creating art. I haven't, these are actually art pieces that I produced after a ninth year hiatus when I already looked at it. I'm like, I haven't painted it in nine years. I haven't created anything in nine years. And with these, I think they're more of a release just so that I can let go of any toxic emotions that I have. Uh, because then again, I think all of us who aspire to be creative you know, crave uh, recognition. I can remember on Broadway, I had a studio, I had a gallery, people were seeing the work that was being collected. I kind of ended, moved here to LA. So, I mean, there's just so much heartbreak and uh, disappointment and rejection and all that stuff. I mean, that's, you got to endure that. That can undermine the sense of mental well being. But in the work itself, when I'm lost in what I'm doing, and in the sense that I don't know what it's going to be, I don't go into it thinking like, this is what I'm saying here right now about myself. I'm trying to find out what that would be. There's nothing better in the world. I feel very much where I belong. And that's, that's mental well-being. visit paintedbrain.org.